ABC, I'm back again for another vinyl update. Here we go. I hope you guys enjoyed the little things that I got that I showed upstairs. But um, first, what we're playing is the what you saw just there was a Chet Atkins. Um, if I can edit the video right, is a Chet Atkins album here on RCA Victor. Pretty good album. So that's what we're playing. So. Let's uh, get on to the finds. First, we got a couple CDs here. They were really cheap. A buck or so. Gord's Gold. Gordon Lightfoot. Of course, you gotta have that one. It's got all the hits on it. Uh, this was a buck, too. The Beatles Past Masters. I'm sure you've all seen that one. Nice Sam Cook compilation here. It's got all of his good songs on it. There it is. An album from uh, 2004 by Paul Brandt. And then the last one, I haven't shown much of his stuff in a long, long time. I know you guys will be excited to see this. Engelbert Humperdinck from 1992. Hello, wherever you are. There we go. It's a nice one. And then, oh, I got a few things here. Two singles here. Watching three. But first up on Columbia, the Raiders with Indian Reservation. And then Janet Jackson's Rhythm Nation. And then uh, with the picture sleeve from 1978, this is Elvis uh, with Guitar Man, backed with Faded Love on that RCA label there. So those were cool to find for a couple bucks. And let's get on to the LPs here. First, I have a box set to show. This is the Bruce uh, Springsteen. 1975 to 85 live box set. Now this this was a really nice one to find um, for five dollars. The box is a little bit rough, but not really. Oops. <laughs> I got it. We're good. But the records are really really minty. <laughs> that was a close one there. Only dropped one album. But I caught it too, so we're good. But that's just, I have the cassette box set too of this already, so get the vinyl one was pretty great. Yeah, the box is coming apart a bit, but what do you expect? And then we got a few albums from the great George Jones. Lady Love, I think that's what this one's called on Epic. Of course. You all know this George Jones album, One Woman Man. It's a beautiful one here. I'm just wondering what this sticker is here. I don't know what that is, but there's that one again on Epic. Here's an old one from the 60s from George. This is uh, with Melba, Mon Melba Montgomery. And that's on the United Artists label, so that's from the 60s. These were really cheap. This is a cool, uh, this is a cool thrift store find. Um, this was Born to Wander from the, the Four Seasons. On the REO label, Canadian pressing. Another uh, thrift store find, these were really, really cheap. Um, here's a Cliff Richard album, really early one. It's got a bad rip here, but for a dollar, I mean, this is on the Capital 6000 label. Alrighty, another thrift, style, thrift find in the shrink. This is a Charlie Pride album. How can you go wrong? This was an awesome find for my James Brown collection. This is uh, featuring Hot Pants, the original inner sleeve. 
on the Polydor label. Beautiful condition. It's a great, great album. I'm so glad to find that one. Next up, this is really cheap. This is the 1977 original Star Wars motion picture soundtrack. And it's a gatefold, it's in really good condition. I already have a few copies of it, but um, my copy does not have this insert in it. And that's of course on the 20th Century Fox label. That's that one, there's the back. Of course a great movie. So the dollar find uh, Diana Ross and the Supremes, Greatest Hits Volume 3. On the old Motown there. Canadian. The best of the Righteous Brothers. Of course you all know them. It's got all the hits on it. That's on the Verve label. My favorite record label. Another one. From the Righteous Brothers. It's a really great one. Here's a Neil Diamond album on Bang that I never have seen before. I have most of Neil Diamond's albums. That's in beautiful condition, so how could I go wrong, really? Here's a Charlie Pride album, probably from the 80s. He looks pretty funny here. But uh, that one. This one here is Hall & Oates Live. I haven't listened to that one yet. There's an album from Jimmy Rogers on the RCA Camden label. Some good old country there. Can't go wrong with that. This was a super find for me. Not this one. Well, yeah. Four Seasons. We all know that one's got December 1963 on it. The last one was an awesome Kiss find. This Kiss Dynasty in the partial, partially in the shrink. I mean, it's got one spot here that doesn't have the shrink. It's missing the poster in the order form, but for ten bucks with the original inner sleeve. Here's the label. It's in really nice condition, just a little bit dusty, but that's really nice to find for the Kiss collection. And is that it? I don't know. You never know with me, really. But, um, that's my video here for you guys. I think that's all. I hope you guys enjoyed, and hope you guys have are having a good week. And, um, shout out to all my friends in the vinyl community. Take care, guys.